welcome to my channel i hope you're all doing really really good i'm back and i'm back with a micro needling video okay if you follow me you will know that i started a micro needling journey um so i done a course and i'm really excited to share with you guys my whole experience with micro needling whether i think it's worth it whether i do it again whether it might be good for you. So I'm here to basically share all the tea on microneedling. If you're new to my channel, hello, have a look around, see if you like my content. Everything I do is basically about aesthetics and dermatology. I will try and start sharing some lifestyle content as well, just so I can build a bit more of a report with you guys so you can get to know me a bit better and stuff. Um, if you're a returning subscriber, hello, thank you for supporting me, thank you for tuning back in. I uh, hope you're doing well and let's get into this video. So I'm Miss T Lindo, I'm a student nurse and an advanced aesthetic practitioner, currently not practicing. I have a lot of knowledge around skin, dermatology and aesthetics. Of course, I don't know everything. I like to share what I do know to help provide you guys with an insight, some information and hopefully that can help you when making steps about your skin and aesthetic procedures moving forward so first things first microneedling is an advanced aesthetic treatment advanced okay so the person that is doing your treatment ideally should be a medical practitioner i'll discuss that later but yeah it's an advanced aesthetic procedure which involves using a device which shoots out multiple needles onto your skin so once it's sh uh, basically doing its thing shooting needles around your skin it goes down to at least the second layer depending on what you want from the treatment and by doing this it creates trauma within the skin which then forces your body your skin to bleed and of course once blood is released oxygen is basically released and it basically helps to rejuvenate the cells, force your skin to heal, which can be useful for getting rid of pitted scarring, any sort of scarring, and helping the skin to, of course, appear much more firmer, more youthful. So this treatment is really good at tackling wrinkles, hyperpigmentation, scarring, acne scarring, a lot of things. It's an amazing treatment and it can go a long way. It's up there against fillers in regard to providing the more youthful and, what's the term I'm looking for? Rejuvenated appearance. However, of course, microneedling, um, using your own blood to basically supply the skin, it creates a more longer term effects than I would say fillers would as fillers are temporary after a period of time your body begins to break the filler down microneedling won't do that so prices for microneedling can vary depending on who you go to if you're going to an independent practitioner I believe prices can start from around £89 per session and if you're going to bigger clinics more specialist clinics or you're being treated by a medical professional then these prices can start from at least 120 150 per session so when you have your treatment done go into a local non-medic ad advanced practitioner they shouldn't be going more than a depth of 1.5 mm millimeters so when doing microneedling, your medical practitioner, sorry, your non-medical practitioner, I've just checked, they shouldn't be going to more of a depth than 1.5 millimetres. If you're seeing a medical professional or medical practitioner, so this is your doctor or your nurse, your registered healthcare practitioner, they can go past 1.5 and up to a maximum of 2.5, which will be used on the body usually um, but you can go up to two millimeters on the face okay so if you're going to you know you know your local 
friend or something that's not a medical practitioner, doesn't have the qualification, might not be insured in the area, they shouldn't be going less than 1.5. Um, there's a lot going on on the deep layers of, you know, your skin that you don't want to mess about with and can cause you a lot of long term damage. So please be careful when considering your microneedling treatments. Um, yeah, so side effects of microneedling can cause redness, swelling, a little bit of bruising, um, temporary bleeding. The bleeding ideally should stop once the treatment, you know, has finished. Your skin can be become dry and begin to peel over a period of days afterwards as well. And of course, just feel generally really sore. Um, so, yeah, so the I'm going to go into why I decided to get my needling done. So in November of last year, I decided that I wanted to start a series of treatments to basically improve the appearance of my skin and to help maintain what I've basically attained to. <laughs> so I couldn't get the words out. So I decided to go to my nearest clinic at the time and discuss procedures with um, the advanced aesthetic practitioner there. So we discussed a series of treatments. Of course, we discussed the Obagi as well, because that's what I've done before and I really, really liked it. Um, and of course, there were some skin pills and there was microneedling. However, the reason why microneedling stood out the most to me is because I've been researching it for a while, researching it in, you know, the sense of I understand how permanent the results can be and how just rejuvenating it is to the skin in itself. So I really wanted to basically go for it. And I had um, some nasolabial folds the nasolabial folds that were developing quite deep at the time mainly because I had a really bad habit of biting the inside of my cheeks which was causing additional stress on this area and it was beginning to fold in and show a lot more so I kind of knew what I wanted at the time and Upon researching it more and speaking with the practitioner more, I personally felt more comfortable with the idea of having this done. And I basically felt like this is for me at this point. I've had a pill before, I've had fillers before. I want to do my community and I want to do something that's, you know, permanent and really useful for the appearance of my skin across a longer period of time. So in that consultation, it was discussed that I could have three courses or five courses. And as I was new to microneedling, I decided I want to start with three courses and then take it from there. Whether I want to add another three or whether I want five, etc. Or whether I just want to stop there at all. So in December of last year, I got my first treatment done so my first time getting the treatment i i kind of knew what to expect but i didn't really know entirely so i went in and then i had numbing cream put on and that was left on for around 30 to 45 minutes i do want to say with um numbing cream it's fine to use numbing cream for microneedling i understand with some non-medics from what I'm personally aware of, don't use numbing cream. So for example, there's an academy that offers microneedling treatments and they say that it's wrong to apply numbing cream onto your client, which is completely false. It's fine to add numbing cream onto your client before the treatment is done. If you don't have numbing cream, chances are you're the you know, client slash patient is not going to be able to withstand the whole treatment because it's just going to be excruciatingly painful, particularly if you are going past, you know, the one millimeter uh, mark. Um, secondly, the numbing cream is, of course, wiped off. So you don't need to worry about having the numbing cream microneedled into your skin. So if you go somewhere and they tell you they don't use numbing cream, I would, I would be very 
wary of that so yeah i had numbing cream put on it was left for like 30 to 45 minutes and then after that i basically had that wiped off and then the treatment was done so in the treatment it started on the forehead and then she basically worked from the forehead downwards so forehead um the cheeks slight under eyes the lip and then the chin so a period of two passes were done so she done it once and then she'll go back onto the forehead and start again for the second pass which can feel a lot more painful as the numbing cream begins to wear off so that happened in my first treatment and once i left my face was really swollen and it was red um, if you've seen my little mini microneedling vlog on my channel, that was how my face looked after the first time that I got it done. So it was pretty inflamed. So that was my first time having it done. And then the second and third time was pretty much the same. The usual, the redness, the swelling, the slight inflammation. inflammation. And yeah, so after the first time I had it done, the depths weren't too deep. Um, I don't have the ex exact depths with me because the clinic won't give them to me for some reason so i had a reaction to it but it wasn't too bad the second time i had the treatment done of course we've gone to a slightly deeper depth now i believe we used a series of 0.8 and 1.5 but i specifically on the areas i can't entirely remember i think it was 0.8 on the forehead as obviously there's less fat on that area and an up to one or 1.5 on the more fattier areas such as the cheeks the second time having it done i noticed a lot more of a reaction so this time my face actually felt sore for maybe the duration of the day so i had it done around i want to say maybe 3 or 4 pm and i you know sort of felt the pain as i was going to bed in the evening so going to a deeper depth of course a lot more trauma has been created so it's a lot more effort for my skin to basically deal with that and heal me so yeah i felt a lot more from that after having the second treatment done however i did see a much more of a difference in my skin particularly these areas that i really didn't like so my skin looked a lot more well slightly more firmer and the scars that i had on my forehead that was slowly trying to make their way back they had faded quite a significant amount i'm going to include pictures in this video so i hope you find that useful as a rough guide as well so that significantly became lighter as well which i was really happy about the third time having it done i had a reaction but not as much as a reaction as i had the second time and after having this treatment done i kind of felt like i'd, I'd didn't see much results as compared to the second one not too sure why that is maybe because I had a different therapist at the time who knows but that was basically my experience when having microneedling done in the period of healing as similarly mentioned at the beginning I did have dryness I did have some peeling also some soreness what I also had as well was like a slight darkening of the mask of my face of where I had the treatment done. And I believe this was due to that area basically preparing to shed. So when your skin sheds, it often becomes darker and drier and it makes its way off your face, basically. So that was that. So after having the three sessions done, I was happy with my results. I'm really happy with my results. As you can see now, this is how I look. So I'm a lot more brighter, a lot more plumper. And the areas that were bothering me have basically, I wouldn't say eradicated entirely, but it really did help. So here... And also I forgot to mention was my under eyes, my tear troughs were becoming quite deep and I didn't want to opt for the filler route, not yet, not at this age, I think it's entirely necessary and I basically felt that it helped with that a lot. 
So I finished my third course in, I think it was January of this year. And like I said, really happy with it. I would definitely go for it again. But what I'm trying to do now is just give my skin a period of rest as I don't want my skin to get too used to having the microneedling treatments done as then I won't get the result that I want. I feel like my skin will become too used to it if I'm doing it too frequently. So I also forgot to mention when I had my first one done, it was in November. No, sorry, December. And then my second one was in no no my second one my first one was in december sorry my second one was around february so i must have finished my third one in march must be march or april um sorry i don't have the exact dates i will include them below don't shoot me but yeah so i finished my treatments quite recently so I'm giving my skin a period of rest now, but for me, I felt like it was really useful, really helpful, um, would 100% do it again. If I do have the treatments done again, I think I'll wait until maybe towards the end of the year, maybe give my skin at least a 6 to 12 month break so it doesn't get, sorry, too used to it. So throughout this video, I will include some pictures as well. Give me a like and subscribe for the pictures because I had to literally get onto this clinic like for my details. And especially someone who's, you know, sort of moving into the health field as well. I find you become a lot more conscious about your health in a sense of like, if you're taking medications, you want the name of the medication, you keep maybe the leaflet from it. With me, when I'm having my aesthetic procedures done, I like to know what they're using. For example, microneedling, what depths we're using and stuff like that. It's important for me and for you as well. You don't have to be a medical practitioner to keep track of these things because say you move to a different area and you start your treatments again, it's really good to have the knowledge of this is what I had done. We concentrated on these areas and these are the depths that were used. So when they're analysing your skin and what to do next, they can basically use that as a really good baseline on how to get you the results that you want. So yeah, I had to basically get onto the clinic for my pictures, which I really didn't want to have to do. So I'm including them in this video and I have my before and after results of my skin. So that's, yeah, so basically I got a, a course of three courses and I paid upwards of uh, £500, which works out really well compared to some other places or Harley Street clinics, if that's where, you know, you're looking at. You don't necessarily have to be on Harley Street to get good aesthetic treatments done. So look carefully into where you're considering going. Book a consultation. Consultations are really important. Don't be scared of like the price or anything like that. I think a really good clinic as well would often use your consultation fee for you to redeem against your treatment. So that's really useful in a sense. Um, and also some clinics are really good at offer offering incentives as well. So, for example, skin clinic, if you work in the NHS, they give you a certain percentage off. If you're a student, they give you a certain percentage off. So do look into these things. They're out there to help make it more affordable for you as well. You know, save and try and find somewhere that works as well for you. So I feel like I've covered everything. I can't really think of anything much else to add, but that was my brief experience of having microneedling done. Like I said, I found it really helpful. I feel like it worked for me. Um, you, you know, the downsides, just, you know, the dryness and peeling, but having been on the new derm system, that peeling was nothing. <laughs> compared to that so yeah that was my experience with microneedling and I hope you found this video useful consider it add it to your little nugget of wisdom and I will see you guys again in my next video take care